Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. Today I want to combine two materials, wood and leather, and make some small chopping boards. So let's get started. For my day job, I work as a chef. I like it when a project combines different interests I have. Kitchens can be very busy, stressful places, so it's nice to get in the workshop, just be by myself and relax with the project. I'm not quite sure what these woods are I'm using for this project, as they're just pieces I've found and screwed away. But I have gone from one piece dark and one piece light as I want contrasting colours for this. After all the wood had been ripped and planed down, I cut it to slightly longer than I actually needed it as I wanted to be able to square the ends up afterwards. I experimented a few times with the layout of the pieces to get a size and a pattern I liked. Then all the pieces can be glued together. As this is going to be used in the kitchen and get wet, it needs to be a waterproof glue. With lots of clamps in place holding it all tightly together, I left the boards overnight to dry. Then the next day I could take them to the mitre saw and square up the ends. The boards were all pretty level after glue up, but I ran them through the planer just to give them a nicer finish. This is a very noisy machine, and getting a drum sander is on my wish list, but I'm probably just being greedy. The planer left a nice finish, but I gave them a quick sand with some 240 grit sandpaper. The finish I'm using is some tongue oil, as it's food safe. I think it really makes the colour look great. Now for the leather working aspect of this project. I set my strap cutter to the thickness of the boards. Then I could cut some leather straps to use as handles. I just held them in place to determine how long I wanted them to be, then marked where they needed to be cut and chopped them with a sharp knife. To attach the straps to the leather I used some brass screws, but I couldn't just drive them through the leather, so I punched some holes to receive them. Before attaching the straps I gave them a quick burnish on the drill press, just to tidy up the edges and give them a little shine. I marked where the screws needed to go into the board and then drilled some pilot holes. The thing was just to screw the straps in place. Here you can see my favourite dinner, bread and whiskey. Thanks for watching, please subscribe for more videos.